Chapter 1 The Big World Trip Once upon a time, there was a man named Felice Fogg who lived in a big city. He was quiet and liked to follow a routine every day. Phileas Fogg was very precise and organized, and he believed in doing things on time. He had a servant named Passapartout who helped him. One day, Phileas Fogg read in a newspaper about traveling around the world in 80 days. He thought this idea was very exciting and decided to try it. Phileas Fogg made a bet with his friends that he could travel around the world in 80 days. He planned his journey carefully to win the bet. He packed his bags and took Passapart out with him on this big adventure. They left the city and started their journey around the world. Their first stop was in Egypt, where they saw the Great Pyramids. The sun was hot and the desert was very vast and sandy. Feliz Fogg and Passapartout marveled at the ancient structures and the beauty of the Nile River. They enjoyed learning about the history and culture of Egypt. After exploring Egypt, they took a ship to India. The sea was vast and the waves were gentle, making their journey smooth and peaceful. In India, they visited the Taj Mahal, a beautiful white palace. The building was stunning, and the gardens were full of colorful flowers. Feliz Fogg and Passapartout were amazed by the rich culture and friendly people they met in India. They enjoyed trying new foods and seeing different places. Next, they traveled to China by train. The landscapes they saw from the train window were green and lush, filled with hills and rivers. In China, they visited the Great Wall, which was very long and impressive. They walked along the wall and admired the view of the countryside. Phileas Fogg and Passapartout learned about Chinese traditions and watched a dragon dance during a festival. The dance was lively and full of energy. From China, they took a boat to Japan. Japan was a land of beautiful temples, busy markets, and lovely cherry blossom trees. They visited the city of Tokyo, which was bright and bustling with people. The city had tall buildings, colorful lights, and many interesting shops. Phileas Fogg and Passapartout enjoyed eating sushi and wearing traditional Japanese clothes. They appreciated the polite and welcoming nature of the people. Next, they crossed the Pacific Ocean to the United States. They arrived in San Francisco, a city with steep hills and a famous bridge. In the United States, they traveled by train across the vast country. They saw wide open spaces, tall mountains, and big rivers. They visited New York City, which was very busy and full of tall buildings. They saw the Statue of Liberty and walked through Central Park. Felice Fogg and Passapartout enjoyed the diverse culture and friendly people in the United States. They were excited to see so many famous places. From the United States, they sailed to Europe, arriving in France. They visited Paris, the city of lights, and saw the Eiffel Tower. In Paris, they enjoyed French pastries and visited famous museums. The art and history in the city were fascinating and beautiful. Next, they traveled to Italy, where they saw the ancient city of Rome. They visited the Colosseum and walked through old streets. Phileas Fogg and Passapartout enjoyed Italian food, especially pasta and pizza. They loved the rich history and culture they found in Italy. 
From Italy, they traveled to Germany, where they saw castles and beautiful countryside. They enjoyed the music and traditions of the German people. After Germany, they went to England, where Phileas Fogg was from. They visited London and saw the Big Ben and the River Thames. Their journey around the world was almost complete, but they faced many challenges along the way. They had to be quick and smart to stay on schedule. Phileas Fogg and Passapartout learned a lot about different cultures and made many new friends. Their adventure was full of excitement and discovery. Finally, they returned to their city just in time to win the bet. Felice Fogg's friends were amazed and congratulated him on his success. Felice Fogg and Passapartout were very happy and proud of their journey. They had seen the world and experienced many wonderful things. The trip around the world taught them the importance of friendship, perseverance, and open-mindedness. They cherished the memories they made. Feliz Fogg and Passapartout continued to explore new places and learn new things. Their love for adventure never ended. Their story inspired others to travel and see the world. People admired their courage and curiosity. Feliz Fogg and Passapartout proved that with determination, and planning, anything is possible. They showed that the world is full of wonders. The adventure around the world brought them closer together. They shared a special bond that grew stronger with each new experience. Phileas Fogg became known as a great traveler. His journey was celebrated and remembered by many. Passapartout was happy to have been part of such an amazing adventure. He loved telling stories about their travels. Their journey ended, but their spirits remained adventurous. They continued to dream of new places to visit. The end of this chapter marks the beginning of many more adventures. Phileas Fogg and Passapartout's story will live on in the hearts of many. The story of traveling around the world in 80 days reminds us that the world is full of beauty and wonder. It encourages us to explore and appreciate it. Phileas Fogg and Passapartout's journey showed that true adventure lies in the journey itself, not just the destination. They embraced each moment. Their legacy is one of curiosity, determination, and friendship. They inspired many to follow their dreams and explore the world. The end.